so I'm going on another trip. I know my last video was a trip uh, from Austin to Philly. Uh, I'm in Austin and I'm going to Philly again. Um, and I'll talk about that, but to be honest, um, this video, uh, <laughs> it's about some vulnerabilities. Um, and, but I gotta pack first. Um, oh. Hey. I gotta pack first and I'm gonna be filming the rest uh, of the next two weeks, hopefully a few more vlogs through this GoPro. So that's what we're gonna be watching. Um, hope you enjoy it. sense to share something like this here in the space with a lot of people um, because why not? Tell everybody, space passenger Thomas, Atlanta passenger Thomas. That's We're currently right. boarding flight 1308 to Atlanta. We're a little bit. Your flight is ready to talk to the plane. Uh, passenger Thomas, but please find your way to number four for flight 1308 to Atlanta. hitting me in this plane ride was like the sense of peace um, literally like this is feeling like a process of letting go of a lot of stuff um, and this is where the vulnerabilities come in so Vulnerabilities. I'm back home um, for a few weeks. There were some different trips that I wanted to partake in. Um, I thought there were two weekend trips only a week apart, but they are two weeks apart. So I found a cheap flight and I made it here. Um, but over the past few weeks I feel through doing the Y blog doing the podcast version of what this vlog series is that we actually like sit down with somebody and talk about their journey um, that's in podcast form link below and through our nonprofit depression to extinction so I work with um, people in a peer-to-peer -peer support uh, place for the prevention and awareness around depression in those spaces, I am finding in my own journey the vulnerabilities that I'm, I kind of need to embrace now for me to grow. Um, and, you know, a lot of that's some, like, small stuff. It's like, you know, being shy around new people and not talking to them. To um, just calling, picking up the phone and calling a, an old friend. To meeting a stranger and actually telling them how I feel in that particular moment um, 
just to being open, and this one's been tough for me, but being open with my direct family and friends about how I'm feeling and what I want to be doing in life. And part of that is like sharing in a place like this is, you know, it's somewhat vulnerable for however many people watch these videos to share whatever's going on. Um, and yet I think the more we can, the more I can come into those places of sharing in deeper, deeper ways about what I've got going on in my life, um, what's going on up here, um, I think the more we can truly connect with others, I think that that is getting to this place of higher purpose or, or just a state of nothingness. Um, in the best way possible and not in the nothingness of feeling alone and not feeling worthy and, and valued but like the nothingness of just like I'm here and it's okay so I, I don't know if that was comprehensible or, or made sense but that's what this is where this is the vulnerable piece of it too how about this boom action happening right now the vulnerable piece of it is that I don't truly know what's going on and as I'm figuring it out, I'm trying to share even if it doesn't make sense right now. And I'm just trying to document that. Part of that documentation, part of that sharing is this space right now where like, I don't fully know where I'm at. Like, I don't fully know if I'm doing the right thing. I don't fully know if I'm connecting with the right people. I don't fully know if I'm helping or impacting anyone. I don't fully know where I'm at spiritually. And that one's big for me. I, 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 I love talking about spirituality. I love researching. I love reading it. I love connecting with people around it. And um, I'm just trying to figure it out. And to me, that's probably one of my biggest vulnerabilities is just me figuring it out right now. And that's where I'm at. So uh, my mom's calling me. I'm going to pick this up. See you later. Hey, what's up?